It's near the end of the road for this form of street side advertising. The City Council's moved to amend a bylaw banning their use from the start of next month. The Council claim these oversized trailers are a distraction to drivers and have to go. These are trailers that are being left around town on the side of the road with big signs or smaller signs on them, purely being used for advertising purposes for things that, uh, like a plant fair, plant shows or furniture stores, we've had some more just for the radio stations. The council recently received several complaints about different forms of roadside advertising. Portsmouth Drive was one area where residents argued against the use of the trailers. They claimed the view of the harbour was constantly being blocked by the moving billboards. Some people are very unconcerned about the, you know, on the aesthetics of the city that we control signs on buildings and the size and everything else through the building, uh, through the district plan, whereas the district plan doesn't apply to vehicles on roads. The latest move seems to be part of a concerted effort by Council to crack down on roadside ads. Last year they banned car sales along a number of city streets. That was after complaints that cars lined up for sale on the side of the road created safety issues, with people slowing down to check out the latest bargains. Council believe trailers have the same potential for problems. The major reason is that they're being left on major routes and they tend to be a distraction and they can cause safety issues, but people will stop to steer and other people running into their backside and things like that. However, the council will consider rare exceptions to the new bylaw, leaving the opportunity open for some one-off events to still advertise to Dunedinites. Geoff Yorston, 9 Local News.